Want to learn engineering and science? Well, you've tuned in to the right channel. Hit subscribe and press the bell icon and never miss an update from us. Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend and tutor Manas and it's going to be yet another session in this lecture series on engineering drawing. Today, I'm going to be taking up a problem based on n volutes and the object that I'm going to be taking up is a square. So let's see what the problem has in store. Here we go. Draw the involute of a square with 20 mm sides for the following cases. String length equivalent to square's perimeter. I'm um, greater than square perimeter. And then finally, we have this case, case number three, in the form of string length less than the square perimeter. So in totality, we have to deal with three different cases. For three different cases, we're going to have three different drawings uh, of the involute. Okay, so let's start with case number one. String length is equal to square's perimeter. So square, you know very well, it has four sides. Let's say um, its four corners be represented by one, two, three, and four. Now this over here is 20, 20, 20, 20. So in totality, the overall perimeter is going to be equal to four times 20, that is 80 millimeters. So what we'll do is we'll try to have a string an inextensible string over here, one end of which is attached at four, you can say something of this sort, while the other end uh, is at a distance of 80 millimeters from four. Let's say this end is represented by point P, right? Now the next thing to do is to, we have to wound this string somewhere along this region, this region, this region, and this region. So finally it would happen is uh, this point P would come into contact with this point four. It will happen. Okay, in that process, uh, this corner will leave an impression over here. When you try to wound this, this corner will have an impression over here. This corner will have an impression right in between. Okay, so this way there are going to be four impressions. So essentially you can say that you have to divide this string into four equal parts and that can be done very easily. Have a line randomly at any angle, make four arcs equal arcs or arcs of equal radii. And that's something which we have been doing in um, plane scales and diagonal scales. Anyways, so let's say this point is represented by one. This is two, this is three, right? Now, extend lines from one here, from two, here from three in the vertically downward direction. You don't need to extend a line from four. It's already there. Now you need to put up arcs and let me tell you how that can be accomplished. So with one P as the radius and with this one as the center, cut an arc, that's P1. With two P as the radius, with this two as center, cut an arc, that's P2. Three P as the radius, three as the center, cut an arc, that's P3. And then you don't need to do anything for this guy because point P will be will be somewhere here only okay exactly at four coinciding with four in fact okay like this point P or point P4 whatever both of them are absolutely same now when you join all these points in proper sequence this is exactly what you get and this is what is known as an involute right and if you watch carefully the best way to draw this is like you have to draw this arc and for this arc you have to take this four as the center Okay, for making this arc, take this one as the center. For making this arc, take this two as the center. And for this final arc, take this three as the center. Now, all of this can be accomplished with the simple help of a compass. So guys, that was all about case one, when the string length was equal to the square's parameter. In case two, we'll see this. String length more than the square's parameter. Now we know very well that the square's parameter is how much, um, let me write it over here it's um, 80 so obviously the string length is going to be more how much is it going to be let me write this 88 millimeters so obviously it is more than the squares parameter so what is the procedure to make the involute in such a case let me show you one two three four that's it um let's let's have a string okay but it's not going to be 88 millimeters rather it's going to be 80 okay and then we'll extend it after some time wait and watch okay so Let's divide this into four equal parts. The process is pretty simple. Okay, let's say this is one, two, three, and that's four. Now guys, this is 80 millimeters, but the string length is how much? 88 millimeters. So towards the right of four, we need to travel again by a distance of eight millimeters. So it's gonna be something like this, okay? Now, this is point P, and this distance from here to here is 88. Okay, now the steps are pretty simple. Have vertical line from one upward, have a horizontal line leftward from two, a vertical uh, downward line from three, and that's it. Now, here is the drill. With one P as the radius, one as the center, cut an arc, P1. Two P as the radius, two as the center, cut an arc, that is P2. 
with 3p as the radius 3 as the center cut an arc and that's going to give you point p3 and then finally we have this 4p as the radius okay with 4 as the center cut an arc and that's going to give you point p4 and then finally point p will be somewhere along here to be very precise it's going to be here this distance and this distance is going to be same this is going to be point p when you join all these points in proper sequence the curve that you're going to have is popularly known as an involute and in this case the string length is more than the square's perimeter so that was case number two let's take on case number three okay and as far as case three is concerned string length is uh, in fact less than the square's parameter right now here i'm going to be assuming that the string length is 72 and you know very well that the square's perimeter is 80 already you know that anyways so let's have a square one two three four um let's draw a line which is going to be equivalent to the square's perimeter okay we're going to fit this 72 millimeters just wait and watch now this is 80 millimeters obviously it has to be divided into four equal parts this is pretty simple one two three and four before this since the string length was more therefore point p was towards the right of four but in this case the string length is less how much is it it's 72 so from here you need to mark a point somewhere here at a distance of 72 millimeters that is point p whose path is supposed to be tracked and when you join all those points you're going to get an involute okay this is exactly what needs to be done so start drawing lines from one two three right this way now with one p as the radius one as the center cut an arc p1 two p as the radius two as the center cut an arc p2 three p as the radius three as center cut an arc that's p3 and this distance and this distance are going to be same and this is going to give you point p's location now this is not p4 let me remove this this is simply point p all right and when you join all these points obviously the curve that you're going to have is known as an involute so guys this was basically the three condition that you may come across okay so that was all for today if you've got any doubt or query do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them and if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering graphics engineering drawing then do share and like this video subscribe to this channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you get a notification you get an update i'm going to be back with more such videos on drawing and mechanics until then it's a wrap this is manas patnak signing off take care have a great day keep learning and keep drawing